Hi there, thank you for tuning in again. So today I am uh, at a vacation uh, at my mother's place. We are currently living in a cabin up in in the Swedish woods and outside it's uh, the wind is blowing and it's uh, snow and it's cold and everything. But it's a nice, nice place. And, and we have a internet connection and that's the most important thing. But today I just wanted to do a quick video and see if it was even possible to do some music production remote. Uh, meaning using, for example, TeamViewer to connect to my PC, my desktop PC at home. I uh, just want to see how it works and uh, over this uh, 4G mo mobile connection. So uh, let's uh, go around to the PC on the bed here and just see how it works. And oh, I won't edit this video. And since I'm not the most seasoned YouTuber, there will probably be some... some uh, Oz and, and strange noises I usually edit out. So here I am using TeamViewer on a nothing special uh, Dell uh, PC and uh, I am connected to my my Ryzen desktop at home. You can see if we can get up the task manager so you see that over here uh, CPU yeah you can see that I'm connected to the Ryzen system there and as for Ableton Live Ableton, Ableton Live is started up and I tried it using the ASIO driver uh, earlier before filming this video but it didn't work so I'm using MME DirectX and just uh, yeah the focus right thing and for the 8 kilohertz in sample rate I think I'm going to yeah keep that on 48 and we, if we just play it back here <clears throat> you can take a listen just get a small small dropouts in the sound there you can hear and I think that's because of the internet connection speed probably <clears throat> okay there we go well you yeah, at least hear some sound Let's try, just take this part. Just go down to the master here. See. So if I move the screen here, it's a little bit laggy, as you can see. But you know, I'm playing the audio. But it works. So, what's the issues here then? Well, uh, the interface, yeah, if I drag something here, let's say if I take this clip and I drag that clip, it's a little bit laggy, but it works. It's, it's, not, it's not that it doesn't work. So, if let's say I just wanted to take this uh, this MIDI clip here, and I wanted to uh, did I solo it? Yeah, I did solo it. If I just wanted to do some changes to it, let's see how can I do this with one hand? Um, move it up one octave. That was possible. Let's see how that works.
Okay. Let's move it down. Well. Yeah, you don't get uh, 144 hertz as I have on the display at home. But you can uh, you can do some small things. And uh, I don't really think this is uh, uh, this is, it's not the best way to produce music because it's uh, probably a bit laggy and you would probably want to have a, um, a good internet connection to do to get this to work. But I think you can also, what you also can do is that you can actually go to your uh, system and you can try to uh, decrease the screen resolution. Let's try to set it to to 1080p, like so. And let's see if we can full screen this Team Euro window, like so. Now it it actually feels yeah, it, it's a little bit laggy, but uh, it's not impossible to do. To do some work here. Let's say if I want to add another another synth track here. Let's see if we can take this one. Okay, I want to I want to try some new sounds here. So okay, so let's duplicate it. Okay, let's go to the new track here. Okay, and let's remove Diva. Delete. Yeah, that worked. Let's go to plugins. VST. Yeah, let's, uh, yeah, we can take Spire. Spire is nice. And let's just take some of the... Try uh, Transfer, that sounds good. Let's see if it works. So yeah, it's... So I think uh, I, I don't think I would like to produce music this way, but if you are in a pinch, uh, if there is something you would like to do, or if you have a melody idea or something, and you just wanted to uh, to program it on the PC you have at home, it may work. And as I said, this was just a quick video. Just wanted to show show you how it works, really. Really nothing, uh, nothing more uh, than that. So, I hope you liked this video. Uh, thank you for watching the videos I make. It, I really appreciate it. And if you subscribe to my channel, like the video, maybe consider checking me out on Spotify and Patreon and uh, those places that would make me happy. Okay, I will talk to you in the next video. Take care and goodbye.